phenomenal, legendary, and blessed morning. So, today I struggled with getting out of bed. I went to sleep late last night. I had an amazing call um, with my um, with one of my mentors in our group, and it was a it was a good night. Actually, it was a blessed night. Good morning. And, um, but I made it outside, but today is one of those days that I'm just like, I'm not moving with the oomph that I normally would have. Um, I'm not sad or anything. I'm just, I could be tired or I could just not really be in it today. And so I did my walk from my house to the track. And then I walked a, a lap around the track, which gave me a full mile. And then I did some jump rope for about five minutes. Um, my walk is like 20 minutes. Well, when I'm walking at a slow pace. And that's kind of how I was. Normally, I'm like speed walking and ready to go. And then I'm like, I'm just not in it today. I'm just not in it today. And I could have been like, ah, oh, push through, push through. But sometimes, you don't have to push through. Like, if you're just not in it today, you're just not in it today. Bow out gracefully. Tomorrow, I'll be back out here. Prayfully, I'll be out here earlier than I normally am. Because I really want to get out when it's like just kind of meeting daylight. When it's still kind of dark, but you know the, the sun is coming up. But I just, it just wasn't in me today. And um, today, I don't feel like pushing it. I just don't. And I'm not going to. And sometimes you're going to have to do that. Sometimes you're working on something. Maybe you've got, like, writer's block. Or you're just not in it today. It's okay to bow out gracefully. For that day. <laughs> now, if it does take a couple of more days... Then I would say after a while, maybe see what's really going on. Um, but I think today I'm just out of it. And um, I'm just going to go home and shower and get ready for the work day. Have me some coffee and, you know, start the work day. But what I am happy for is that I did get out. I didn't stay out. I didn't get out long. But I did get out. I could have rolled over in my bed, slept a little longer, um, you know, went back to sleep even because my work day doesn't typically start, start until eight. But I got up, I got out, I walked to the track, you know, a while back, this is a while back, um, it was a young lady I used to follow and she said sometimes she would just go to the gym and just sit there but she made it to the gym you know because she was creating a habit and she didn't want to stop the flow of going to the gym so she went to the gym even though she didn't again she didn't feel like she she just didn't feel to work out but she made it to the gym and so today i made it out made it out i did a little something i did get my heart up heart rate up for a little bit and now I'm headed back home to get the rest of my day started and um and sometimes it will be like that not all the time you're going to have the motivation to go do the thing and you'll get up and you'll push yourself and you'll attempt and sometimes you just have to bow out gracefully so it's okay so to anybody that didn't feel like it today it's okay begin again tomorrow it's all right don't you know crucify yourself and don't make yourself feel like you're a horrible person because today you just wasn't in it and sometimes it could be like that in prayer you know sometimes I realize man I, I just I don't know, God, I'm not in it this morning. 
not in it this morning to pray. Meanwhile, I'm actually having a conversation with him. So I've already prayed. Look at that. But that's, that's the thing sometimes. You won't always feel in the mood. You, all, you won't always do it to the greatest of your ability. And it's okay. You know, we've been taught this narrative of always pushing harder, pushing harder, pushing harder. And yes, there will be times that you will have to push through. And by God's grace, you will make it through. But we also have to know when to kind of just fall back. Fall back, take a moment, breathe it out. Don't do something or do something a little bit. Not as hard as you did it yesterday. It's okay. You don't have to feel guilty about it. I feel good that I came outside. I was going to say got some fresh air, but <laughs> it's a joke. But yeah, got some fresh air. Um, and I got my heart rate up at least a little bit. And that's it. So don't knock yourself down for not doing it like a rock star today. Today, I'm a rock star because I got outside. Today, you're a rock star because you got two lines on the paper. Better than no lines, right? Today, you're a rock star because you got out of the bed in the morning. First of all, it's a blessing that you got out of bed in the morning. Let's, let's, let's focus on that for a second. You have breath in your lungs this morning because I promise you somebody didn't wake up this morning. That's the unfortunate truth. Somebody didn't wake up this morning. So even your wake up is a win. Even your wake up makes you a rock star. Right? You were blessed to see another day today. We gotta, kind of goes back to my other message about small beginnings. No, you didn't rock this out today like a rock star. But you got up. I think getting up is probably the most important part. That you got up. If you showered today, you are a rock star. If somebody feels so down, they can't even do that. You're a rock star. Because you got out the bed. You showered. You made it to work. We have to slow down on the demands that we put on ourselves. You know? Because sometimes it just isn't there. And when you push yourself so hard sometimes, you have this heavy weight on you about what you didn't get done. Sometimes you just need to focus on the thing that you did get done. You know what I'm saying? So, please hear me. It's okay if you didn't rock out today. It's okay if you didn't do it to your greatest ability. It's okay that your only achievement today was that you got out of bed. It's okay. So, I'll leave you with that today. I send you love, life, and light in Christ.